हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन यूनिवर्सिटी फ्रेंड्स आई एम बाहुबली देसाई इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम इंपॉर्टेंट एमसीक्यूज ऑन रिसर्च एप्टीट्यूड फॉर यूर नॉर्थ ईस्ट सेट एग्जामिनेशन फ्रेंड्स फॉर यूर नॉर्थ ईस्ट सेट एग्जामिनेशन वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग यू फुल सिलेबस वीडियो लेक्चर क्रैश कोर्स विद फोर्टी मॉक टेस्ट विद सोल्यूशन पी डी एफ ऑन यूर ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन यूनिवर्सिटी एफ एंड इफ यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू जॉइन फॉर दिस क्रैश कोर्स Alternatively, you can join only for 40 mock tests with solution PDF, only at rupees 499. These mock tests are available on our website and also on our WhatsApp group. And once if you subscribe to our crash course or mock test, you will be added to our paid WhatsApp group where you will get the links and you can download the PDFs. Then these 40 mock tests are very helpful to boost your preparation. For paper one, let us move to the questions. Here the question is: the problem of research ethics is concerned with which aspect of research activities? Options: Option A, following the prescribed format of a thesis. Option B, data analysis through qualitative and quantitative techniques. Option C, defining the population of research. Option D, evidence-based research reporting. Friends, here the right answer is option D, evidence-based. research reporting is the right answer related to research ethics let us move to the next question okay here you can see what do you mean by research ethics research ethics it provides guidelines for the responsible conduct of a research and also uh, research ethics is going to educate and monitor the scientists conducting research to ensure high ethical standard please remember these lines let us move to the next question okay ethical norms in research do not involve guidelines for option a thesis format option b copyright option c patenting policy option d data sharing policies here the right answer is option a thesis format ethical norms in research do not involve thesis format okay let us move to the next question a researcher intends to explore the effect of possible factors for the organization of effective midday meal interventions which research method will be most appropriate for this study option a historical method option b descriptive survey method option c experimental method option d ex post facto method i hope you got the answer here the right answer is option d ex post facto research okay the next question is in which of the following activities potential for nurturing creative and critical thinking is relatively greater option a preparing research summary option b presenting a seminar paper option c participation in research conference option d participation in a workshop friends here the right answer is option d participate in a workshop and friends workshops are usually involve a member of teaching staff and here teaching staff is going to present the themes and concepts or the development of a skill related to the course study and workshop also involves hands on learning however discussions interaction presentation and also debate will come under the workshop okay let us move to the next question in qualitative research paradigm which of the following features may be considered critical option a data collection with standardized research tools option b sampling design with probability sample techniques option c data collection with bottom up empirical evidences option d data gathering to take place with top down systematic evidences friends here the right answer is option c data collection with bottom up empirical evidences okay the next question is from the following list of statements identify this set which has negative implications for research ethics of first one is a researcher critically looks at the findings of another research second one related studies are cited without proper references third one research findings are made the basis for policy making fourth one a conduct of practitioner is screened in terms of reported research evidences fifth one a research study is replicated with a view to verify the evidences from the from other researchers sixth one both policy making and policy implementing processes are regulated in terms of preliminary studies here four options are there here the right answer is option c okay two four and six okay second one that is related studies are cited without proper references and fourth one conduct a practitioner is screened in terms of reported research evidences and also sixth one 
both policy making and policy implementing processes are regulated in terms of preliminary studies here the right answer is option c 2 4 and 6 are the statements that have negative Im implications for research ethics okay let us move to the next question okay prime minister research fellowship is for students pursuing phd program in option a state and central universities option b central universities iisc iits nits iiscr option c ii iisc iits nit iiscr iiits state and central universities uh, option d iits and iisc friends here the right, right answer is option b uh, Prime Minister Research Fellowship is for students pursuing PhD in Central University, IISC, IITs, NITs and IISCRS. Okay, here the Prime Minister Research Fellowship PMRF scheme has been designed for improving quality of research in higher education and the scheme was announced in 2018-19 budget. Please remember it. This scheme was announced in the budget of 2018-19. The institutes who can offer PMRF are IITs, IISCRs, Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, then some of the top central universities or NITs. Okay, let us move to the next question. The principal of a school conducts an interview session of teachers and students with a view to explore the possibility of their enhanced participation in school programs. This endeavor may relate to which type of research? Option A evaluation research, option B fundamental research, option C action research, option D applied research. Here the right answer is option C action research. Okay, action research, it is a research which is carried out to solve the immediate problems. Okay, let us move to the next question. Okay, match the following list. Set 1 is showing research methods, set 2 is showing us data collection tools. Okay, experimental method, ex post facto method, descriptive survey method, historical method, data collection tools, primary and secondary sources, questionnaire, standardized test, typical characteristic test. Here the right answer is option 2. Okay, it means uh, experimental research, the tool, data collection tool is standardized test and ex post facto research, typical characteristics test, descriptive survey method, Questionnaire is required, historical method using primary and secondary sources. Okay, please remember this. The next question is, the issue of research ethics may be considered pertinent at which stage of research? Option A, at the stage of problem formulation and its definition. Option B, at the stage of defining the population of research. Option C, at the stage of data collection and interpretation. Option D, at the stage of reporting the findings. The right answer is, option D, at the stage of reporting the findings. The issue of research ethics may be considered pertinent. So, okay, let us move to the next question. In which of the following reporting format is formerly prescribed? Option A, doctoral level thesis. Option B, conference of researchers. Option C, workshops and seminars. Option D, symposia. Here the right answer is option A, doctoral level thesis. Okay, reporting format is formerly prescribed. Okay, the next question is, in which of the following arrangements a wider spectrum of ideas and issues may be made possible? Option A, research article. Option B, workshop mode. Option C, conference. Option D, symposium. Here the right answer is option C, conference. And, okay friends, this is about our today's session. Here, our 40 mock tests are very helpful to boost your preparation. Okay, here we are providing you 20 full syllabus tests and 20 unit wise tests. Okay, and also you can download hints and solutions. PDF you can download. Okay, and once if you subscribe to our mock test or our crash course, you will be added to our paid WhatsApp group. Then if you are having any doubts regarding our mock test, here the first test is free. You can come and give, it, give this test for free and check your score. Okay friends, thank you very much. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos and for mock tests for UGC net and various set examination, you can subscribe to our global online university 